Hey guys, and welcome to the Fraser Hat Yai Show. Today I'm with my beautiful wife, and we're just driving into into Songkla at the moment to try and pick up some drugs. So what they are. Thai customs in Songkla. So um, I ordered some kava online. Uh, if you don't know what kava is, it's the the drug of choice of the Pacific Islanders. So you may not know, but I lived in Vanuatu, uh, an is a small island on Vanuatu called Pentecost. For uh, just, by the way, we just crossed one of the longest bridges in Thailand. Anyway, um, so I used to live in. Pentecost Island on Vanuatu in Vanuatu. It's where land diving was born if you don't know what land diving is Here's a video um, But basically I lived with a tribe in there for almost six months I uh, lived without electricity or anything like that and taught volunteered uh, at, at their school Anyway while I was there I drank a lot of this stuff kava and I really liked it, so I, I've not drunk it in years, so I thought I'd try and get some on the internet. Did a bit of research, found it's it's legal, it's not illegal in Thailand. It's only illegal in like three countries, including New Zealand. Uh, I think New Zealand made it illegal because of, apparently they said there was problems with the, uh, what, what do they call the original people of New Zealand? The Maoris uh, were drinking a lot of it. Uh, I think that had something to do with why they made it illegal. Anyway, um, it's legal in Thailand. It's a great drug. Um, it's got a lot of health benefits. Uh, there's been a lot of research and studies done on it. Some people take it in capsules, but it does have a very nice calming effect. It's a very subtle effect. Um, it's kind of, if you drink enough of it, you get the kind of dizziness of being drunk, but with a clear head. And it also makes you very enthusiastic. I call it the enthusiastic drug. It just makes you feel happy and enthusiastic. Anyway, um, I'm going, uh, I ordered it about almost a month ago and I've been following it uh, um, from the States. I had to order it from Miami because um, the only website that would ship to Thailand was uh, Miami. So um, I ordered it from there. I've been follow following the tracking uh, of the UPS and yeah, it was spent a long time in Bangkok in customs. I was worried it was gonna get stopped because they don't know what it is, um, or maybe tax was gonna pay it on it. And then it came up like a couple days ago. It said it's restricted item not delivered. That was a bit worrying. And then today I just received this letter or slip that is asking me to go pick it up in Songkla Customs Office. So. I'm gonna go pick it up now, hopefully. Maybe I've gotta pay some tax or duty on it or something. Anyway, uh, let's see if I actually managed to get it. I think this this is the longest bridge in Thailand, right? Yeah, I think this this is the longest bridge in Thailand that we're, we're going over now, uh, which is in Songkla. Uh, I don't think you can see it. Anyway, yeah, longest bridge in Thailand. It's pretty cool over here. If you do get a chance, come check out Songkla in the south of Thailand. Songkla is the province of which Hat Yai is in. The Hat Yai is the biggest city, and where we stay is Ratapun, which is a smaller town uh, within the, the province of Songkla. Anyway, uh, let's see if I can get hold of this stuff, and uh, if I do, I'll give you an update once we get to the customs office. All right, guys, sorry for the wobbly video using my phone today. Just arrived back from customs, finally managed to get my kava, which is awesome. Um, they didn't know what it was. We talked to the guy for about 30 minutes to try and explain. Um, I think he thought it was kratom, which is illegal in Thailand, um, but it's not. It's a perfectly legal health supplement, and we managed to get, get it. Uh, we had to pay 700 baht in in uh, fees, duty, tax, tax, and all that stuff. 
But we got it, so uh, let's take a look. I ordered two products. I only ordered a little bit because uh, I wanted to make sure it get here. So this is the instant kava. Uh, so kava is made from the ground root of the... I wonder if we've got the uh, piper menthils... Piper menthisticum. Pink, I can't read that. Anyway, uh, that's the official technical name for the plant. It's made from the ground up roots and it's usually uh, mixed with water and strained. Uh, but this is an instant version. So they already make it and then they dehydrate it or something and, and, and create a powder from it. Um, and then I've got the, the actual, the proper stuff down here. Oh no. Okay, this one is just the ground up root. So I've got to filter that through a strainer uh, to make the drink. And I bought a strainer bag as well. Why not? Um, comes with it. So yeah, that's my cava. The package is here. I guess I will show you the. Um, I'll show you it being made and being drunk later, and uh, see what you guys think about it. We're just heading now back home to Sankla and going to a print shop now to pick up some uh, backdrops. All right, guys. So just got back now, back home, back at the office. Picked up the, um, the backdrops. Let me show you. Super cheap. Um, so these cost me 300 baht for the both. They're fairly big. Um, uh, like a printed out thing. A uh, big one. Uh, the reason I got these, I want to hang one up here and then I got a smaller one. For when I, when I travel and teach, I can set up a backdrop so it looks a bit better when I'm teaching online while I'm traveling. Uh, nice little backdrop there. The handsome guy in the corner. Um, yeah, and the big one to put uh, by my desk over here. The place is a mess at the moment. I'm currently updating the mining rig. Uh, I added some fans on there. And... Um, I'm going to be adding some more GPUs and I've just been trying to organize the wires a little bit. It's not finished yet. Uh, I'm just trying to cable tie everything up and uh, make it a bit better. Uh, yeah, so that's the mining rig. Grading it a little bit. Um, yeah, so uh, that's it for today. No, it isn't. I'm going to show you the cava, right? So um, I'll probably drink some of that cava a little bit later on tonight. So uh, when I do, I'll get it out. I'll do a taste test. Let you know how it compares to the real stuff I had when I was living back in Vanuatu. Alright guys, so um, catch you later. So I'm back home now. I got the kava. This is the ground root, which needs to be strained. Uh, so I'll probably do that another night. I'm just going to try the, um, the instant kava first. And I want, to, uh, I want my wife to try it as well, see what she thinks. Okay, so this is really simple. You just mix one tablespoon with half a cup of water. I don't know what half a cup of water is, so I just try and mix in one teaspoon. Okay. And then we add water. And you have to put some on the, on the table too. Mix it up. This looks kind of weak compared to the stuff I drank in Vanuatu, but um, apparently the instant stuff's stronger than if you strain it yourself. But depending how thick you mix it, I think it probably needs to be stronger than that. But um, just for my wife, you know what, I'll put a bit more in. There we go. That's looking like the consistency I remember. Okay, honey, do you want to try some? Drink it. Don't spit it out. The, the taste isn't good. Drink all this for one time? Uh, if you can, but I think I think you won't like the taste. You won't be able to drink it. You can try. How is this? Can you drink it? Is that all? If you can do it. Yeah. How does it taste? It's just like a water. Just like and a water? smell like a, just some herb. Oh, really? Mm. I don't think I mixed it strong enough. Just drink it in one. 
Excellent. What do you think? Does it make your mouth feel numb? No. Like when you're at the dentist? Yeah, a little. Yeah, it makes your mouth a little bit numb. Huh. Alright guys, so I'm going to try my shell now and see what it's like. It makes mine a little bit stronger. Uh, so, um, my bam... What, how, I forgot how, what they say in Vanuatu. Uh, North Pentecost, they say... My bam in Malohu. Malohu is... Pentecost dialect for Kava. <clears throat> so the taste isn't good. Um, mm. um, it's definitely not as strong as... Vanuatu, but I reckon if I just mixed it double, it'd be better. Um, I feel the mouth numbness, and um, the effects from cover is very, very subtle anyway, uh, so you won't really notice it with one shell. Anyway, the guys, that is kava. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, did you enjoy your kava? Yeah, I enjoyed. Not convinced. All right, guys. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time. Take it easy. Bonus. So it's been about eight years, maybe seven years since I've drunk kava when I lived in Vanuatu. I drunk it every day. Had a couple shells now. It's been about 15 minutes. And this stuff's pretty strong or I'm just build up a... Um, sorry, I'm... Because I'm taking it for such a long time it's having a bigger effect on me. Very good stuff. Um, definitely going to order some more. Alright guys, catch you later.